Hey everybody, Justin here with Ultra Bright Lights, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the Z Flash OBD for GM vehicles. So, inside the bag, you're going to find the module as well as the switch. So, let me show you how to get started with it. The switch comes inside the bag, and on one end is the on off switch, and the other end is a pass through OBD module. You have a female end and a male end. On the male end, you're going to connect that to your OBD Z Flash module. And then you're going to plug those in together into the vehicle, just like that. You'll notice the blue light's going to come on, and that means it's got power. Next, you're going to put the key into the ignition. Turn it on, but don't start it. Now, just leave your module in there for 30 seconds while it reads the vehicle. After 30 seconds, you can remove the key, and you can remove the switch and the module. After your module is done reading your vehicle, bring it inside and plug it in using the provided USB cable and try to get it as close to your Wi-Fi router as possible. On your smartphone, open up settings, then click Wi-Fi. You're going to wait a few seconds for the Z Flash to pop up. Go ahead and click that and wait a few more seconds for the Z Flash Wi-Fi setup screen to open up. Click the SSID of the router that you want to connect to. If you press the wrong one like I did, just press cancel. Now that I have it open, I'm going to go ahead and type in my password for the Wi-Fi. While the module is connecting to Wi-Fi, open up the camera app on your phone and scan the QR code. This will bring you to the Z Flash profile website where you can log in, or if you don't have an account, go ahead and click there to make an account. Go ahead and make yourself a username. Type in your email address. And create a password. Make sure your password is more than eight characters long, contains a number, and is not similar to your email address. So once you have connected your module to Wi-Fi and made an account scan the QR code and logged into your account, it's going to go ahead and link your module with your online account. If you need to access your online account, you just go to zflash.app. And from there, you're gonna go ahead and log in with the information you just set up. And within your ZFlash manager profile, you can edit your profile. You can see information such as your name, the vehicle description, and the serial number of the device, making sure it matches up the serial number printed on your module. You can also see down at the bottom your device, again with the serial number, and if any updates are required. In this case, mine does, mine does need an update, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it into Wi-Fi for about 5 to 10 seconds, and it's going to begin flashing red and blue, which means it's downloading a new update. Now that my module has been set, I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in to my switch, plug that back in to the vehicle. Then go ahead and start the car. Now the module's in and the car is running, the light's going to turn green, which means you're good to go. Just tap the switch once to turn the lights on. You can hear the car chime, that means the module is activated. Tap it again, change flash patterns. That chime means the flash pattern has been changed. Tap it again for the next pattern, and tap it again to turn it off. So that's it. That's the overview of installing your Z Flash OBD GM module. The last and final step, don't forget to install your Z Flash sticker on your back window. And if you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.